Sairam. Welcome to Sri Satya Sai Lok Seva Gurukulam Online Services. Let's learn English program with Mrs. Kalpana Hablekar. So today we are doing personal pronouns. That is one of the type of pronouns, the first type. Okay. So now let us see what are the personal pronouns. They they are used in the subject position at the beginning of the verb. Okay. they substitute for another noun they show the number grammatical person and sometimes gender of the noun so let me repeat again they are used in the subject position so you know what is subject and what is the object of the sentence so they are used in the subject position at the beginning of the verb so first the so verb will not come first this will come pronoun will come and then the verb will come okay and they substitute for another noun okay this is understood they show the number grammatical person and sometimes the gender of the noun they also show the gender of the noun so it will tell whether it is he she like that only the personal pronoun i is always capitalized and other pronouns are only capitalized when they begin a sentence or form a proper noun okay understood now whenever you start a sentence and if it begins with a pronoun then the first letter of the pronoun should be in capital otherwise i is always capital whether it is in the beginning of the sentence middle of the sentence or just before the ending of the sentence i will be yes always capital and the pronouns are only capitalized when they begin a sentence or form a proper noun yes personal pronouns can be used while writing essays but it is best to avoid the first and the second person pronoun that is i me we us you for the sake of objectivity okay now we'll read this again only the personal pronoun i is always capitalized and other pronouns are only capitalized means capital letter when they begin a sentence or form a proper noun personal pronouns can be used while writing essays okay when you write essay writing this is very important then but it is best to avoid the first and the second person pronoun that is i me we us and you you have to by heart this these are all called the first and the second person okay so for the sake of objectivity so you should not use it again and again so personal pronoun provide us with the following information now what information personal pronoun can give let us see okay the the person who is speaking so now it tells us about the person who is speaking now it will tell about me okay who is speaking then the number is the pronoun singular or plural now if you take me how many teachers you have one or two i am the only one right speaking so one it tells about the number is the pronoun singular or plural if you have two teachers it will be plural standing on the same dais if you have two people teaching you you will have plural okay then the gender is the pronoun masculine or feminine or neuter okay so masculine or feminine if your teacher is a male then you will have he and if your teacher is a fe feminine that is female then you will have she okay and then a personal pronoun can be one of the three persons it can be one of the three persons the first person pronoun refers to the speaker okay the second person pronoun refers to the person being spoken to okay that means you 
I am the first person, you are the second person because I am the speaking person, you are being spoken to, okay? Then the third person pronoun refers to the person being spoken of. Now, what do you mean by this person being spoken of? Now, we both, I am speaking to you about a person who is somewhere, you know, not there here. He is not to be present, but I am speaking. See, uh, Rohan has done like this, okay? He has not come to the class today. So, I am speaking to you. So, I am the first person. You are the second person. And third person is Rohan because he is not there and I am speaking about him, okay? Yes, now all this is understood? Yes, very good. Now, the personal pronoun can either be the subject or the object in a sentence. So, now listen properly. This is very important. The personal pronoun can either be a subject okay, or the object in a sentence. The subject pronoun are in the nominative case and the object pronoun is in the objective case. So, this you will know when we are doing in detail the subject and the object of the sentence. So, now for this you just remember the subject of the pronoun are in the nominative case and the objects are in the objective case. Nominative means you are nominating a person. Objective means you know that it is there. Okay. So, now we are going to the loud reading and handwriting practice. Okay. Now, I told you this is very important. So, we have to see what is the thought of the day waiting for us today. So, what did Dalia Lama say? Love and compassion are necessity, necessities and not luxuries. Without them, humanity cannot survive. Okay. Now, let us say the spellings of this because spellings are also important. Love, L-O-V-E, love. Okay. You can't say love like this. You have to put your tongue up. Love. Okay. L-O-V-E, love. Compassion, C-O-M-P-A-S-S-I-O-N, compassion, C-O-M-P-A-S-S-I-O-N, compassion. Now, many of you will not know the spell uh, spelling, of course, we are learning now, but the meaning of the word compassion. Now, we have learned how to use the dictionary, okay, and I had told you to bring Oxford Dictionary and keep whenever you are reading English, when you are doing English lesson, okay? So, any day I can tell you open your dictionaries and see the word compassion. So, all of you make a note of this word compassion and write the meaning, actual meaning and try to use this sentence, make your own sentences, okay? Small sentence. So, love. So, we should love everybody, okay? We should be compassionate to everybody. Like that, you know, make small, small sentences. Don't make very big in the beginning. Okay, necessities. See, this is a very, very confusing word. So, let us learn the spelling. N-E-C-E-S-S-I-T-I-E-S. -E -E necessities. Now, some of you will say, ma'am, why you are saying S-S? You say double S. So, when you are learning, it is very confusing in the beginning. Okay. So, in the beginning, we all have to say N-E-C-E-S-S-I-T-I-E-S. -E -E necessities. Luxuries. L-U-X-U-R-I-E-S. Luxuries. L -U -X -U -R -I -E -S, luxuries. R I E S luxuries. Okay. Then we have humanity. Humanity. H U M I N I T Y. Humanity. H U M A N I T Y. Humanity. Cannot survive. Let us see this. Survive. S U R V I V E. Survive. S U R V I V E survive and then you should write 
the correct spelling of who has said this last time also i had told you because each pronoun and the nouns are very important okay so the noun is very important now what is the noun over here can you see what is the noun over here yes dalia lama so dalai lama dalai lama is a word should be pronounced and we should spell it also correct so d capital d a l a i dalai lama l a m a lama okay so with this we have ended the first that is the personal pronoun and thank you for listening to me patiently and i hope that you have understood what is a personal pronoun and the definition of it further we will do exercises to get it more clear to you thank you so much sai ram